Hello YouTube, Daniel from Maximum Photoshop's back here with another tutorial for you guys. So today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool looking furry text in Photoshop. Let's jump right into it. Let's right click and make a new document. Document size will be 2880 pixels by a height of 1800 pixels. A resolution of 72, RGB color, and background contents of white. So let's go ahead and take our text tool out. I'm going to use a size of 878 and a font of Gills Sans Ultra Bold. Let's go ahead and type in Max for Maximum Photoshops. Now let's highlight it and you're going to want to make sure that you have enough space in between here. For this tutorial I'm going to use a spacing of negative 40. Now what we want to do is center it and then go ahead and paste our image that we have copied right here. I'll make sure you have a link in the description. So go ahead and paste it in by clicking Control V. Now let's duplicate it by clicking Control J and drag it to the right so it will span the whole image. Now what we do is take an eraser tool. I'm going to leave it at 500 pixels and the hardness of 0%. And go ahead and start erasing here to make it blend in. And that's OK. Now what we do is hold Shift, click the previous layer, and hit Control E. That will merge the two layers. Now what we need to do is create a layer mask on this layer. <laughs> Let's go ahead and, while holding Control, hit this T button right here. And then just click the layer mask button right there. And it should layer mask our image. Now we need to go ahead and create a custom brush for the fur. Now I already have a custom brush, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make it because I'm just cool like that. Now right here is my custom brush. Anyway, let's go ahead and create a new document for the custom brush and make it 500 pixels by 335 pixels. I think that worked for me. Let's go ahead and make our background transparent by making a new layer and simply deleting the background. So make sure your brush tool is selected. Make a flow of 100%. Take our brush tool and go to the top where the Photoshop presets are. Scroll down until you see this one right here. It's a sort of grassy looking brush. And we can select that. Now take and make sure that black is your foreground color and go ahead and click on the image. Why is it so small? I'll get back to you when I figure out what's happening. Give me a second. Hey guys, I'm back with you. I was just toggling with some settings and from brushes before the video and I screwed it up a little bit so I put it back to standard and let's get on with the tutorial. So take your brush and it'll look like this and go ahead and click around 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it should give you dark black. Now we'll go back to our brush panel. And now go to brush tip shape and change the angle to 180 degrees. Now go ahead and line these two areas up like so and click another 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you should get something like this. Now we we'll go ahead and take our eraser tool. This time make it smaller, I'll use around 140 pixels, and make the hardness 100%. And go ahead and erase a little bit of the inside, like so. Now we go ahead and crop it. Go to our crop tool, and just drag it out, so a little bit more than just the image is showing. Very good. Hit enter. Now we go to edit, and define brush preset. I'm going to make it fur. All right. Now we can go ahead and close this. Now once you see, if we come back here, we take our brush and we go ahead and scroll down, you'll find what we just made, this custom brush preset. Now we need to toggle with some settings here. First, let's go ahead and make the spacing 1%. Let's go ahead and make, and go to shape dynamics. Let's go with size jitter 100%. Let's 
Brown is good if needed. Angle good if zero percent. And that's good. Actually, sorry. Brown is good if go fifty percent. Then we go to scattering. Scattering. Let's leave it at thirty. Count. Go up to three. And count jitter, 0%. And then go to transfer, opacity jitter, 100%. And that is it. Now we go ahead in our layer mask. Let's make the size around 106. And if you can see now, I'm just going to start brushing and make sure your brush is on white. And I'm going to start brushing and it's going to look like fur is being painted on here. And that's basically what you have to do. You keep on brushing like this and fur will keep on coming on. And I'll get back to you guys once I'm done brushing the whole thing. Hey guys, another thing I wanted to mention is that you keep on changing the sizes to give it a more natural look. If you keep changing the sizes, the fur length looks different, and that gives it a really naturalish look. So just keep changing the sizes as you're brushing it, and then you'll get a better effect. So now I will really see you when I'm done brushing up the whole thing. Hey guys, I'm back, and I'm done finish brushing the whole thing. And you can already see the effect that is starting to come out in this tutorial. So now let's go ahead and add some layer styles. For the sake of speed, I already have them pasted. I'm sorry, copied, so I'm going to go ahead and paste it. And you can see it gives it some depth. Let's go over the effects. The first thing I added was an inner shadow. The blend mode of soft light, opacity with 75%, distance with 25, choke of 1, size of 24. For the contour, what I did from standard, I went here, I adjusted it by just dragging it upwards like that, and noise of 35%. Now if you think I'm going too fast, firstly let me know in the comments, secondly, pause the video, it really helps. So next go ahead to drop shadow and make, make it color burn, black as the color, opacity 100%, an angle of 120 and distance 0, spread 0, size 10, and now this time the contour is your standard with 5% noise. I didn't mean to be offensive when I said just pause it, I just want to go quickly for the sake of the tutorial. So let's go ahead and now let's add a shadow here. As you can see here we have a shadow. So how I'm going to do that is we're going to make a new layer, under, and we can already delete out a text layer. Take the brush, and instead of clicking the brush presets here, go ahead and click this area, and choose airbrush, soft round, 50% flow. Go ahead and make the size a little bit bigger, and the opacity at around 75%, and go ahead and start brushing the bottom area. Make sure that you're brushing the black first of all. And just start brushing the bottom area, somewhere around here where you think needs a shadow. Very good. Now what we do is filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and blur quite a bit, something like that. 40 pixels should do. Very good. And just drag it up a little bit. And now we go and put a adjustment layer. The adjustment layer I'm going to put is a curves layer. Now make it only work for that by holding Alt and then clicking in between the two layers. Now let's go ahead and drag the bottom part down and the top part up. That should make sure that the darks are darker and the lights are lighter. Go to the properties panel and let's drag it up even more. Very good. Now we can go and Control shift as we did before and control E. Now the last thing that we're going to do is make the opacity down. Make the opacity around 90% and give it that little shadow. Now what we want to do is create a cool background. So let's take our paint bucket tool 
and let's take this color from here. The color that I'm using here is BFAE87. So we'll take the paint bucket tool and just splash it on right there. That's a problem that we'll fix in one second. And then we go ahead and take our brush tool, make it relatively large, I'd say around 1,900 would do. Make sure that the white is foreground color, soft brush, make flow 100 and opacity 100, and just click in the middle of your image. And you should get a cool effect like that. Now you see here that we have white. And what does white mean? Well, white means that it's the end of the image that we have here. Right, so what we can do is go to our panel, our uh, layer mask, take the brush tool, and select our brush that we made, the custom brush. I'll select it right there. And instead of white, choose black. Sorry, one second. Hi guys, I'm back. Sorry, that was my mistake. Here is the way to fix it. Now if you look here, you have a chain in between your two layers. Unclick the chain, so it deselects, then Control T and drag out your image. What the chain does is it links your layer mask to your image. So basically, your layer mask is your image. Once you unclick it, the layer mask becomes an actual mask, and you can move the image around under it without changing the mask. So that's basically it guys. I'm going to add one last adjustment. I'm going to put on a gradient map. And I like this one right here. Go ahead and put it to soft light. And it gives it more of an exotic look. So there you have it guys. A really cool furry text effect in Photoshop. If you like the tutorial, I know it's a little choppy today. I'm not on my game, but I really wanted to put out a tutorial for you guys today. Like, subscribe, it really helps me. I really appreciate it, and that will enable me to bring you more tutorials. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. Daniel from Maximum Photoshops, out.